Now, here's a MOA. I want to get that MOA. What do I do? Well, I need to have some sort of way to activate one of my attacks. So, what I'm going to do as I walk off of this base here, rotate this back, and we're going to look at using these virtual triggers. How they work is that you've got these spaces that if your hand bone or your foot bone touches them, it triggers the event in it. In our case, I want to have one, so the one key is my first attack, and then I have a six key for healing. Now I also need to have a key to actually select the monster that I'm going to be attacking, or the bird in this case. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by picking my right-handed attack. So I'll double click on this and click on key combination and press the one key. So that's digit one. I'm not going to press any mouse keys at the same time, but I am going to have it make a sound so I know that it's happening. And save that and you'll see it shows up there. Now when I'm doing this, I'm holding down the right mouse button to rotate this around. You could also use the slider at the top. This makes it easier to work with when you're trying to see what mouse button you're clicking and if your hand is actually hitting the right button. So I've got my trigger there for shooting and I'm going to have uh, down to the right I'm going to have my healing spell. Press 6, make sure my sound is on and save that. Okay, so I've got those in place and I'll also want to have it select which monster. So in this case if I look back I'm going to have Sometimes it's nice to just put your hand in front of the connect when you're setting it up. <laughs> and I'm looking for my next enemy. So nearest enemy, I'm going to use the tab key for that. I'll rotate this around and double click on here. And easy, just grab the tab key. Sound on and save. Okay, so we'll go back over here and we'll give this a shot. There you go. Here I am again and I'm going to move this a little bit so you can see where I'm looking at at the time. You once you've got it in place, sometimes it really wants to really wants to keep you there. The side effect of having it really easily recognize you instead of having to put yourself in a bind pose, it tends to recognize everything as a person. So sometimes you'll be fighting with your chair as to who should be playing the game. Okay, here we go. So I'm up in my spot. I'm detected and I'm rotating myself a little bit and I'm going to say, okay, tab. There you go. See how it hit that trigger? And now that the white mo is selected, oh, I'm too far away. What am I going to do? Well, step forward. Attack. Stop. And because it auto attacks in this game. And there we go, I'm done. Now I can heal. Voila, and then I go. So I can continue on. I can look for my next little friend that I want to introduce to my new little hammer or mace or whatever that thing is there. Come over here. Stop. Hey, White Moa. How's it going? Oops. I am totally missed him. Now, it will in this game automatically reposition myself when I turn the camera around. Voila. And I can of course jump again. I can so I can do all of that while I'm fighting. As well. So get my MOA again. This is easier to work with if you got a ranged weapon, of course. So I can be like 